so this is a follow-up video to the spinner gui tutorial and i will be showing you how to implement giving the player an object when the spinner chooses an object so let me show you what i have done in the local script i just have two objects that i want to be able to pick i have a gun and a knife and inside the server storage i have a gun and a knife that i just pulled from the toolbox and they have the same name as the things inside the objects table and that's important because in the script that handles it, it's checking for the exact same name that you give it in here. So what the script does when the spinner button is clicked is, of course, it'll spin. But then it'll fire this remote event inside replicated storage. So this is a remote event. So we're going to be passing that data over to the server. And we're passing in the text of the spinner. So what is the spinner, like, what does the spinner end up on? We're going to pass that over to the server so that the server can give the player the object. Next, I'm just going to disable the GUI, which is the script's parent. So let's take a look at the server script, and this is inside server script service. And basically, I just have a variable over to the event in replicated storage. And when that event is called, then we'll connect that to a function, which takes in a player and an object, with the object being the name of the object and the player just being the player object that it passes in automatically. So basically all we do is we go into the game.server storage, we find the first object that has that name, and we clone that and we send its parent over to the player's backpack. So now if I test this I'll show you how it works. So we click the spin button and it'll uh, spin between the knife and the gun. Let's wait for it to finish. And we got a knife. So you can see there's a knife in my toolbar now. If I click that, I can use a knife like that. So that's my setup for how to do the uh, giving the player an object. If you have any questions, you can go into the comments and ask them there. Um, anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.